everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and I'm going to take you to Canada and the Canadian rock legend Neil Young. One of his biggest hits called Harvest Moon. Neil Young was known as a master of the acoustic guitar. He had many a great acoustic guitar songs, and many of them work really well uh, transposed over to the mandolin, including this song, Harvest Moon. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the main riff that I just did off the top. I'll show you some of the other chords and progressions that Neil Young uses in the song, and even that cool little part where, that he plays on the guitar with the harmonics, like that. We can do that nicely here on the mandolin, just like that. So I hope you enjoy this lesson, and I hope you stay tuned. Once again, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already by hitting that subscriber button down in the lower right corner, that little red tab. Really helps us to continue to bring you classic rock and pop songs on this website. But no more waiting, let's dive into Neil Young's Harvest Moon for the Mando. All right, we've zoomed in for Harvest Moon by Neil Young. And this song is in the key of D. So we'll start off with this open D chord voicing here down at the second fret of the G string and second fret of the E string, open D, all right? And this open D tuning, or this open D chord, facilitates this riff. So that main riff from Harvest Moon. So it's a really nice little pattern. And one of the most important things to remember with Neil Young is he has a very strong strumming hand here. So he's constantly keeping that strumming motion going on the acoustic guitar. And definitely you have to do that on this song as well. So you have to keep that. Like that. So what are those chords there? Well, the chords are the D. And then I drop my ring finger down from this note, the F sharp at the second fret of the, uh, of the E string, down to the second fret of the A string. And that becomes a B note, and the E string is now open, which gives you like a D6-9 chord, I believe. So, so that's the D6-9 chord. The next chord is like a D major 7th chord. That slides up to here. So what I do there is... I hit this chord just from the D note from here, from the open D string. And then this note here, which is the C sharp, that gives you the major 7 on the D, right? And then back to that F sharp there on the E string. So F sharp second fret of the E string, C sharp, which is the fourth fret of the A string, and the open D note. So the pattern is D, D6-9, D major 7. And the next part of the verse, um, or I guess as we go into the main, the main part of the verse, starts off with a little harmonic run on the guitar, which you can do really nicely on the mandolin. It's a really nice little E minor pattern that goes... Okay, so that little E minor pattern is the first part of your verse. Okay, and then from the E minor, he goes to a D, and I use this voicing here, because you want to play like a little D major seventh uh, riff here on that. So, children, nothing, keep this one. So that little pattern on the D is just D, 
to D major seven. So you're just pulling your your pinky down to C sharp there, or you could use it. You could also play it like that. I prefer it like. And then after that, you go. And that basically works like uh, an A chord. And you got this open A note here, and you have an F, your finger, your uh, ring finger on the F sharp note, which is the fourth fret of the D string. Very quickly goes by. And then you catch the B note there with keeping your finger on the F sharp. So it goes. to the E minor, right? Then G. Then you go to a G chord. And back to the main riff. Right, well, after the G, you go to the main riff again, and then finally you're on an A, and I play the A chord down here, an open A. I'm still in love with you. That part when he's singing over, the, I'm still in love with you part. For well, the first part on the mando, I just hit a regular A chord, and then the second part I add that to make it an A seventh chord. Then back to an A chord, and then A seven back to the main riff. All right, and then finally, if you're feeling um, adventuresome, you can also tackle Neil Young's harmonica solo that he does near the end of the song. You can do that here on the mando as well. It works really nicely. And it's in G, it's over the G chord. So what did I do there? Well, I kind of varied it up a little bit, and I leave it up to you to interpret how to play those lines, but basically it's these, these notes over a G chord. So it's sort of a G arpeggiated run here, starting on the B note, which is at your second fret on the A string, up to the D. And you can work in that E, open E, or this E, so, back to the D, and that riff again. One more time on the G. So just experiment with the notes there and listen to the uh, the original track, and maybe you can play along with it and figure out those the pattern. But basically, those are just the notes that he's playing on the harmonica that work nicely for a solo here on the mandolin. And that's Harvest Moon by Neil Young for mandolin. I hope you enjoyed playing that one. It's really fun to play with uh, an acoustic guitar player as well. The two of you can uh, enjoy playing that one together. I'm Mike DeJong. Thanks very much for watching Rock and Pop Mandolin.